What's up you guys? Today we're gonna do flat iron curls using the T3 one inch Lucia flat iron with T3 rapid heat IQ. So first of all, please excuse the mess behind me. I just got back from a two day road trip last night and I'm just sat here to do this video. First and foremost, if you have thin hair like I do, like really thin, fine, silky hair that doesn't hold curls well, you're gonna need some product to make this work. I love the Living Proof Control Hairspray. It has some heat protect features to it, but anything that's gonna give you some um, texture and some hold, you're gonna wanna lightly spray your hair with that before you start. Give that a comb through. Okay, so I've done a couple so I can get closer to the front of my face here where you can see the curl a little bit better. So I will tend to go for a pretty small strand like this. And then I'm gonna take my, my flat iron and I'm gonna place the handle of it really close to the root here, like that. I'm gonna take this piece, wrap it around the top plate, gently clamp closed and slide out to the end and then catch it and give it a quick twist with your fingers in the direction of the curl. The hold spray that you choose is gonna help a lot here in terms of holding that curl if you have really fine thin hair. There's another one. The reason I love the T3 for this, and as opposed to other flat irons, is it has this rounded edge, so it makes it really easy to wrap around like this and get a nice smooth pool. Whereas if it's really squared off, it feels a little bit clunkier and you end up with more kinks in my opinion. I also reviewed for you guys their T3 one inch curling iron relatively recently and I loved how smooth that made my hair. And with this flat iron, even when I am actually flat ironing as opposed to curling, it just leaves my hair so smooth and when I flatten it, it stays straight for the whole day. But I just feel like I get these beautiful curls without any damage. It's super, super smooth. It does wonderful things for my hair. And frankly, it's the first flat iron that I have successfully been able to do curls with. And it's going to be the same thing if you're somebody who likes to alternate which way you curl, except instead of starting behind, you're going to start in front of the hair, still wrap it around the top plate and pull, and then just really gently glide it all the way out, and of course, flip your curl the other way with your fingers. And I did spray this layer with that Living Proof product as well, which I will link below if you are interested in trying it. This method just works a million times better than the twist method. Every time I finish a layer, I go in with the L'Oreal Elnet hairspray for a little bit more hold. One thing I also recommend doing is if you're new to this, this is what I did. Before I even turned on my flat iron, I kind of just practiced the twist and pull movement without any heat so I didn't fry my hair while I was learning sort of the rhythm of wrapping it around the plate. Especially with the T3 guys, the heat on the plates is really even really smooth and you don't need to crank it all the way up. I only have mine up to a half setting, um, halfway up to maximum setting, and I'm gripping it super, super light. It should glide. You should not feel any sort of pool in your hair at all. You don't need to. The heat is still going to disperse all the way down that hair shaft, enough for you to get a nice curl. The last tip, the last thing I would really suggest is when you wrap it, try to make sure that you're keeping it flat so the hair is in there nice and flat and you're getting it even all the way through as opposed to bunching it into like a twist. If you twist it, you know, so you almost end up with like a ball of hair in there. Do you see that? As opposed to, and you see how it kind of came out really floppy like that? What you wanna do is make sure that when you're wrapping it, you're keeping your hair flat in like a ribbon. So that way the heat is evenly on all of the hair that's between those plates. And then you're gonna get a nice ringlet. So this has been my new go-to hairstyle, you guys. This is now my second T3 product. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off here. 
I really, really love this. I highly recommend the one inch. Anything, anything too wide is not going to give you this sort of ringlet curl effect. It's quick, it's easy, and as I said, just got back from traveling, took this with me, and it was fabulous for getting a completely flat, smooth, straight look on my hair, which held for an eight hour road trip, might I add, and for doing something a little bit more effort-based, but looking equally good. One tool, two looks, absolutely fabulous product. So I will link this down below, as well as the two products that I used to get the texture that I needed for the hold in my hair. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a go. It is by far the easiest way to get curls with a flat iron that I have ever tried. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you give it a go and it works for you and I'll see you in my next video.